The third thing you need to do is the Titanic rule, which is to never let go. Like you hold on to it like a Labrador that like will not let go of a ball. And if you do that, you tweet about it, you blog about it, you show how people can use it, you put it into scenarios. It's amazing what can happen. I mean, I'm seeing a syntax that's, uh, that's coming out. You might have seen it. It's this like EQ CSS. And everything I know about CSS means like this thing's never going to happen. But, but all the examples that are coming out of this have gotten developer after developer higher, higher, and up the, you know, whatever we want to call the food chain going, this is really serious. We should take this seriously. We should look into this. We need these features. One major feature that it addresses is element queries or container queries or whatever year you learned what they are. There was some word, which is like, I need to style the way the thing looks when it's a certain size, not the size of my screen or my monitor or my browser at the time. Like, how big is the thing? I, I want to style that. Like, we still can't do that. But some people might get the idea that, like, no, it's just probably meant to be that way for some really important reason. No, no, it's never completed. The attractions are killing people. You should probably fix it. And, and like, yeah, you don't work at Disneyland, but if you, like, put on the outfit, you know, catch me as you can, like, nobody can stop you, especially if nobody's heard of you because then they're, like, they can't be like, this is like the fifth bad idea that she has had. No, no. They're like, who is, who is this person? This is amazing. This is an incredible idea. We all got to get behind it. And then the momentum starts. And then you cannot let go of it. But if you do that, you share your idea with the world, this is what that looks like. After all this hard work and all this amazing, amazing stuff, you just like faked it and stuff. I, as I understand it, it comes down to writing an email. Like one of those old 90s like email lists. You have to send an email to the right group. And if you send this email to the group, just historically speaking, from my perspective, that means more than any tweet and any amount of momentum is if you just literally write an email, you find the right email address for this, the, whatever the group is, if it's HTML or if it's CSS, you just like find a way to get them to start an email thread. And then all of a sudden, it, it could be... <laughs> not literally overnight, although maybe sometimes, but overnight suddenly you could have a browser vendor, someone working there going, I'd like to know what this looks like, and they put it behind a flag. 